What is going on, everybody? We are almost finished out here. It just like, that's actually the front of the job. And uh, it kind of does like an L shape. And it goes that way. Big L shape. Um, so the Caterpillar's down again. It made it a day and a half this time. It just says uh, C-A-N, like can, data, lost or something. And it's not moving now. So got a good uh, day and a half in it. And there it is. So, um, but we got the ASV. And we've got the excavator. That is a bad machine. And it's like the size of a monster truck. And it has big tires on it. <laughs> anyway, let me demonstrate what this thing can do to a stump. seconds and the other machines would have probably spent 20 minutes on something like that and we've got probably like I don't know there's probably three four hundred stumps out here imagine how long that would take versus just one big machine um, you can get these machines with a dentist seam off on them you can put a FAE whatever you want on there um, I think I'm gonna do it with a with a dentist seam off on it because that's what I like but that Ultra Head there is not bad for carbide teeth, so it is a massive machine though. It's 320 horse Cummins. That excavator doesn't look so big anymore. Oh, here's another one. You guys notice how the the mulch is just kind of shooting down at the ground that little piece right there that's like a trap door that or like a control door whatever they want to call it it uh basically you fold that door down and it makes the mulch like blow straight down to the ground instead of versus like shooting out so that's why i can safely stand in front of it
gets paid to run a machine and dance. Must be a good job. Well, anyway, folks, um, here it was. The surprise. A week late, but it's here. is super choppy so when you're riding around in that thing it's like you know you're bouncing all over the place and it has like instead of a regular seat belt it's got like the straps that go over your shoulders too kind of like a race car seat belt um so it feels like you're in a race car too it's a pretty cool machine it's brand new uh, i think it's like a 2020 or 2021 whatever you want to call it but it's uh it's different it it's got like the joystick controls like a skid steer has or even like the excavator um the only thing different is like going forward and backwards um it's not joystick there's like two pedals for that and then there's another pedal for a brake like in case of emergency you hit that one and stop so but anyway um but yeah and it it articulates in the middle so Unlike a track machine where you just like do a 360, this one here, it pivots in the middle. And uh, it makes your turning radius still really tight. Um, just, it doesn't like spin on a dime like a skid steer. So there's a few things like that that take a little bit getting used to. Um, so I get to operate it like as smooth as a skid steer, but it is, uh, it's different. It's a shame too, like how pretty these things look when you first get them, and then like one or two weeks into it, it's like it looks like it's been for a war. So that's what the forestry business does. It just wrecks these machines. So he's chewing up some pretty big stumps though, and those are they're just um, like pointed carbide teeth. They're not like the flat ones that were running on the ASD over here. They it looks like two like little teeth. Um, sticking out off the, the insert. So, um, it's a different style cutting tooth, and uh, they don't like shoot the big chips out like the Dennis Seamoffs do, just because of the way it's designed. It's a little different, but it's more geared towards like you can dig it in the ground a little bit more, and you're not going to hurt anything. So, uh, more ground engagement, they call it. So, it's a little different, but I like it.
get to Cummins, why not? I know a couple of people have done that with machines. Um, you know, that are out of warranty or whatever. And uh, they'll get in there and crank the, crank the horsepower up. And I know some people have even changed like injectors on these things and some get like real crazy with them, get a lot of horsepower. Makes a big difference. It's a little harder on the hydraulic pump. So it's kind of like a risk you're gonna have to be willing to take. You blow a hydraulic pump and you're talking eight, 10 grand on a skid steer something that big could be like 20,000. It's just toys. That's all it is. Definitely a cool machine. like really fine compost mainly because it's like digging into the ground as it's mulching so it's mixing the dirt up with the with the mulch so I hate to say it but that's kind of a finer mulch than what a Dennis Seamoth does it takes a little longer but well folks I gotta get back to it we got uh we gotta get this thing done before it rains so we only got about 300 more stumps to go uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you got any questions, shoot me a message, give me a call. 
2381. See you guys later.